Did you know that you're playing Golden Trophy wrong? From the weapons you use, the tricks you know, it's all wrong. I'm here to correct all these mistakes and show you the improper, I mean, proper way to play Golden Trophy. First, are these things. You see these fleshy little shapes? Well, they have a tendency to get in the way, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to shoot them so they stop moving. Now you'll be able to continue with the act with no problem. A question that a lot of new players have is what are the best weapons to use to kill enemies quickly? There's two answers to this. Number one is shields. On top of blocking enemy attacks, you can bash enemies with them to deal a significant amount of damage. If you do this a couple of times, they die within seconds or maybe minutes, we'll check back in on them. If you decide not to use the shields, your next best option is the crossbow. Now, something that I've noticed a lot of people get wrong is they grab two crossbows. This may seem like the better option, but in order to best optimize your damage output, you only want to grab one. In addition to that, you want to make sure that you grab it with your non-dominant hand. This is really important because you want to have your main hand free. This isn't because you're going to grab a sword or a shield, but because you want to make sure that your hand is free to point. You're going to have better aim with your dominant hand and you want to make sure that you point directly at each enemy you're about to shoot. This way they know what's coming and have a chance to get out of the way. I mean, with the damage that crossbow does, we at least gotta make it a fair fight. Also, side note, whatever you do, do not grab the crossbow in Act 2. It's been cursed by the witch from Crimson Cauldron. So you're going to want to wait until Act 5 to grab your crossbow. So maybe just let the fleshy things do all the work until then. Just make sure to shoot them as soon as you get your crossbow. Let's check back in with that shield guy. Um. Maybe, maybe just a little longer? The only time you're going to want to opt out of using the crossbow is one of those fleshy things is using the bow and is just spitting arrows everywhere. If they're too slippery and moving around too much for you to be able to shoot them, then just put down your crossbow, grab two swords, and charge headfirst into battle. It's important not to swing the swords, but to instead just shake your controllers as violently as possible. If the fleshy thing shoots you with one of their arrows, it, it just means that they're bad. If you're getting tired from shaking your controllers so much and you want to take a little bit of a breather, you can still help out your team by throwing things at the arrow dispenser. It could be a pot, your swords, whatever. It'll just really help them out. The only other time you're going to want to grab some swords is once you're finished with Act 8. This is because the boss battle is next, and the best strategy to take down the boss is just to run around him and just hit him in the back with your swords. And again, just shake your controllers. If you start losing tracking and your hands just start floating away, this means you're doing it properly. If you shake your controllers fast enough, you'll kill him almost instantly. I, I said instantly. See? Look at that. So fast. A neat little trick that I've seen some people use is that if you drop an item right before it collides with a fireball, it'll block it like a shield. But this isn't actually the proper way to do it. In order to do it I mean correctly, you're going to want to just hold the item. Don't drop it. This way the fireball goes right through it. Hopefully this tip will save your life someday. Another neat little trick is that you can respawn an item wherever you want. If an item originally spawned in that act, it'll respawn wherever it was last picked up. This means that if you drop and pick up an item and then despawn it by some method, it'll respawn right where you picked it up. Something that most players don't know is that you can do this with yourself as well. Just use the same method as before, just pick up and then drop yourself, and then despawn your body, and boom, you respawn right in the same spot. Let's see how that shield guy's doing. Um. Maybe just a little bit more time. Next, we got a little combat tip. A lot of people tend to have some difficulties with these barrel guys, but you don't even need to fight them. You see, they just love hugs, so as long as if you go up and hug them, they will... Um... Oh, that, that doesn't kill you? Um... Uh, d -d 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 uh, uh, staring contest! Yeah, 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 staring contest! The best way to take these guys down is just to look at them head on and try your best not to blink because if you do, you'll die. Ow. Yes, saved it. The next tip is really important, so you're going to want to listen closely. Your highest priority should be breaking every single pot in every single act. I don't care if you have 150,000 gold coming out of Act 7, break every single pot. Getting S rank and golden trophy is really difficult, so you're going to want to ensure that you have as much gold as possible. What's also key is that you focus on the pots first. Don't worry about any of the enemies until every pot is smashed. It can be tricky sometimes because a lot of pots are hidden in out of the way places. X6 is a really good example of this because there's a lot of pots hidden in the bookshelves that can be really difficult to spot. So you're going to want to make sure that you do at least two or three pass-throughs of the entire level just to make sure that you got all the pots. 
The last tip I got for you is pretty simple. If you ever need to take off your headset or go AFK, make sure you do it right before the platform. You don't want your body to be in the way of the other players standing on the platform, because the last thing we would want to do is to inconvenience them. That's all the tips I got for you today. Hopefully this will help your next run of Golden Trophy. I had a blast making this video, and I think I'll return to this idea for some of the other games. So make sure to subscribe so you can get notified of that. I'm just having fun filming a bunch of other content as well. So if you enjoy this, you can go watch some of my other videos up on my channel. Uh, my friends and I also run a YouTube channel called The Odds, so you can go check that out too. But thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.